welcome to this course overview on general aspects of energy management and energy audit. These courses are developed by NCI e-learning division. There are four uh, courses that develop. Uh, the course one is about uh, general aspects of energy management and energy auditing. The second one is energy efficiency in thermal utilities. The third one is uh, energy efficiency in electrical utilities. And fourth one is energy performance assessment of equipment and utilities. All these courses are highly recommended for uh, practicing engineers, managers, working in uh, various industries and commercial buildings. Now let us uh, go to the course instructor. Uh, my name is Dharma Lingam. I'm an accredited energy auditor. Uh, 35 years of uh, experiences in energy auditing field and uh, training. Now let us uh, go to the content. There are 11 chapters uh, packed into the course one, general aspects of energy management and energy audit. The course one is uh, dealing, the chapter one is dealing with the energy scenario. So it contains the global energy production, reserves and uh, consumption. And also it dealing with uh, energy conservation importance and climatic change mitigation uh, requirement, etc. The chapter two dealing with energy conservation acts and uh, international protocol uh, for uh, mitigating the climatic change uh, aspects. The chapter three dealing with basics of energy and various forms. Electrical energy, thermal energy, basics, fundamentals are clearly given. It is a prerequisite for any energy auditing process. Chapter four, it focuses on mainly on energy auditing principles, methods, tools, and techniques. How to conduct energy audit professionally and how to identify the energy saving measures in your establishment or in your client organizations. So what are the two energy auditing instruments are required? Electrical energy auditing instruments, thermal energy auditing instruments. So also it teach you, you can learn about the, how to prepare the energy audit report and how to develop energy saving options for recommendations. Very important chapters. And the chapter five is dealing with the material and energy balance. So it is applicable to both uh, process industries, continuous process industries and batch process. One can find out the uh, material loss uh, quantifications and uh, loss analysis. Uh, so it can, you can do the energy balance for a particular equipment or a particular department or the entire uh, uh, plant, manufacturing plants. So it, it, these two chapters contains a lot of problems, numerical problems for more understanding. And chapter six is dealing with the energy action planning. It mainly deals with the how to establish energy management function in our organization. Uh, international standards like uh, ISO 50001. Uh, it is very useful for implementing continuous uh, improvement. So it deals with this uh, managerial capabilities of energy auditors. Suppose working in an organization, he should establish the systems and procedures. Chapter seven is uh, dealing with the uh, financial analysis techniques like a uh, payback period and uh, ROI, uh, internal rate of returns, uh, IRR, uh, and the net positive value methods are uh, discussed. You can learn how to do the, how to select a proper, uh, uh, most profitable energy saving options by doing uh, selection. Project management, it deals with the uh, networking techniques like a critical path method and PERT. It is very much useful for implementation of uh, energy saving projects in an industry. And the chapter nine is dealing with the monitoring and targeting. So basically it provides a lot of uh, graphical tools for regression analysis and uh, cumulative some techniques for solving problems and continuous monitoring energy performance of uh, particular organizations. So in fact, it can uh, uh, add with the IoT also systems. So very much useful for uh, continuous monitoring of energy performance.
hypothesis and then making a suggestions. Chapter 10 is dealing with energy efficiency and the climatic change. It is, there is actually a linkage between energy use and environmental pollutions. It deals with the, uh, global major issues and climatic change policies also. You know? And a lot of international protocols are dealt here. And the last chapter is about the new and renewable energy. In these chapters, you will learn about the different devices of solar energy devices, wind energy devices, bioenergy devices for the purpose of application and the suggestions. So with this, there are 11 chapters uh, gives you the overall picture about the energy manager, energy management, energy auditing courses. And uh, once if you complete all the chapters, uh, uh, no doubt about that, you will become an expert in energy auditing. So the overall uh, learning objective of this course is the, from this um, content you might have understand, you will learn about the micro level and micro level. At the micro level, what you learn, the types of energy resources, global energy scenarios, linkage between energy use and environmental implication, sustainability, also international protocols, energy policies. At micro level, what you learn about it, what are the energy auditing principles, tools and techniques, approaches, step-by-step -step approaches, so how to start and how to identify energy saving measures and uh, how to recommend, how to select an energy option. So the economically feasible and renewable clean energy technology suggestions. So in fact, uh, everything uh, energy auditor occurs, it provides the knowledge and tools and techniques for conduct of a successful energy auditing. So the candidates from any countries and uh, anywhere they can uh, uh, attend this course. In the important uh, highlights of the course are once, upon, once you register this course, immediately you can start learning it. And a lot of flexibility in timing. You can learn at any time your own schedule. And uh, it takes about 12 hours duration for a completion of the entire courses. Upon completion of the course, you will also get an e-certificate. And uh, we will see the more uh, the features of this course for a better understanding and clear understanding and easy remembering, each chapter is divided into two or three chapters, small, small chapters, part by part. For example, energy senior is divided into four parts. So each part have its own content video, PPT presentation, animations, etc., so that you can easily read, remember, understand. That is the approach. Like that, each chapters are uh, uh, meticulously it is uh, divided into in a logical manner and uh, it provided you in the course. So <clears throat> all the 11 chapters you find the interesting videos and uh, some of the examples and uh, each chapters here each part of the video there is a end there's a quiz. You have to attend this course part course chapter quiz and overall three levels quiz are there. So this is an interactive course. So also you have a question and answer forum. If you have any doubts, any clarification, you can put in the question and answers and you will learn about more uh, uh, clarifications. And so like that, each chapter is given a quiz and uh, at the end of the course, you will get a test. So upon the completion of the test, the final score you will get uh, Less than that, you will get the certificate. So it is summarized in these uh, slides. So learn part by part and attend the part wise test. Learn chapter by chapters and attend the, attend the chapter skills for understanding. Finally, the overall uh, test course you attend, you will get a certification. Then who can attend this course? This course has been designed mainly to help the aspiring energy auditors and energy managers who wish to write the examinations with very safe examinations around the world going on. So all these courses contains these models, these sub-models of uh, energy auditing principles and related subjects. So hence this course is uh, highly helpful to the candidates who wish to take up the green building energy efficiency proficiency examination in any other countries. So it will support you very much. And uh, the individual 
who can improve the energy efficiency in their organization can write this exam, ex, uh, can attend this course. Individuals who wish to reduce their energy bill, uh, energy costs, they can uh, also register this course. Individuals considering a consultancy job in the energy saving field they may uh, join this course for better uh, understanding. All faculties and students can uh, learn for updates. And uh, those who are writing examination, any type of proficiency examination is very much helpful. So friends, this course will teach you everything you need to know to work as an energy auditor, energy managers for a successful conduct of energy auditing. This course is specially designed and delivered to provide all the technical managerial aspects of energy auditing. Uh, with the knowledge gained from three decades of energy audit experiences globally. Uh, thank you very much. Best wishes.